I'd steer clear of love songs, you know? I mean, it, it finds its way, doesn't it, to all the songs, but I just steered clear of it. And I wondered why that was. Why had I not written a love song? And then I, I kind of, it slowly began to dawn on me. But the thing about love songs is that they're nearly always written by ghastly, whining, snivelling, whinging young people. <laughs> Aren't they? Banging on about being in love. Oh, they just invented it. And I thought, right, right, I'm going to write a love song for the grey, grizzled, grumpy old gits who <laughs> are <laughs> still smitten. <laughs> they don't get enough love song room for them. So this is for them. And it takes semi retirement as its theme. Called my darling's downsized. <laughs> you know what? I think we could go up a bit. <laughs> It is Friday after all. <laughs> From Monday to Wednesday, it's business as usual. So what's so unusual about my sweet dear? She's altered, she's different, she's just so spectacular. She's what we got wet for, and she's Because Henrietta is just not a good sense To write them a letter in which they're advised But Henrietta has made a decision And from this day forward my darling's downsized Just last Wednesday evening of her work shoes I bought her a large one and I tell you no lies she sweats and she shimmies and looks to the bedroom and then she looks at me with those great big blue beautiful downsides eyes now the sun in the morning somehow seems brighter over easier and the breeze is just breezier and there's cuddles galore She bakes some rock cakes I lay a fire I like the touch paper Oh but I don't retire Cause my love for her cannot Overstated, it's deep and it's not final salary related. Because every answer is just at the good sense to write them a letter in which they're fighting.
Done.